Well, one man is creating a lot of buzz in Gray's Ferry with his unique summer program. Mark Berman offers kids the chance to become beekeepers for a day, giving them a hands on experience with an aspect of nature that they don't normally get to see. Action News photojournalist Tom Crutchmer takes us there. What we can learn from bees and beekeeping is it's great for mental health. I just feel a lot better, I feel a lot more energized and uh, recharged. Hi, my name is Mark Berman, I'm a beekeeper, I've been keeping bees for eight years. Look at that. And in early spring, I got the idea to start a Be a Beekeeper for a Day experience because people seem to be incredibly <laughs> fascinated and mystified by honeybees. You're all, okay, you, you're all good to go. Seems dangerous, oh, but yeah. it's really not. And there is so much they can learn about nature and about what honeybees do, where honey comes from, and why we have bees in the city. Lorenzo Langstroth was a reverend who lived in Philadelphia, was a beekeeper, and he invented this style of hive. Okay, the scariest part was mostly the bees, like when they sprayed the smoke, um, thing. It was the most scariest because it was like all the bees were swarming around. Um, it's been a few minutes, so it stopped doing that. But and the funnest thing was getting the honey. It was delicious. Freak out. There's no reason to freak out. These honey bees are minding their own business, just like the other, just like the other kids at recess. They can't survive if they don't work together, and they each have roles. That's something we can all learn from, mm. right? Good. Am I right? Now suddenly you're getting the idea here. Oh, that's why he does this. Wow, very cool.